Hello and welcome to Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online. My name is Kelly and I'm a former wedding planner and blogger and I'm obsessed with weddings. If you're planning a wedding in Ireland, you're in the right place. You're going to learn the tried and tested methods to planning your dream wedding without the added stress. Think of this as your one-stop shop for everything to do with planning your wedding in Ireland. With me, your new wedding planning bestie and a cup of tea. This is Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online. Hello and welcome to Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online. My name is Kelly and I have got my cup of tea ready. I hope you've got yours too, because today we're talking all about how to make things easy on your bridesmaids. Now, if you missed last week's podcast episode, you would have missed how to plan the most fun wedding ever. So I highly recommend listening to it because there's so many fun things that you can do to make your wedding awesome for all your guests. And I know that you want to listen to that, so don't forget to catch up on that. Now today, if we're talking about how to make things easy on your bridesmaids, and you know, it's your wedding, you're going to have a great time, but you're going to have your besties with you, and you want them to have the best day too. I've been a bridesmaid a few times, I've been a maid of honor as well, and it is a lot of fun, no matter what happens, being there with your bestie, giving them the most fun day that they can have is always a good experience. But there are a few things that as a bride that you can do to make the experience just even better for your friends. And I'm going to walk you through a few of them today. So first thing, introduce them. So now what you don't want is to have these friends from all different parts of life meeting each other for the first time at your wedding. Of course, you want to have something like a hen party. You may have an engagement party, all those different things. You want your your bridesmaids to actually meet each other and know each other a little bit before all of these events happen. So what I recommend is, if possible, gather all of them together, take them out for coffee. It doesn't have to be a big elaborate thing. And if they're from different parts of the country or if they live in different parts of the world, you could do it online. You could have a fun little Zoom quiz or some little activity where you can get to know each other. And it'll really break the ice for them if you are the one that actually introduces them. And then you could do something simple like create a group chat where you put them all in. They then have each other's phone numbers. And then what you'll probably find is they'll create a group of their own that you're not in. And that's where they can do all the planning for things that they don't want you to know about because it's supposed to be a surprise. But the key is that if you are the one to introduce them, break the ice, it's really going to help them feel comfortable with each other moving forward. Second thing, communicate well. A happy bridesmaid is a well-informed bridesmaid. They want to know things like, when are the pre-wedding events? What are the expectations? You know, what do you want them to wear? How do they get their outfits? Are they buying them? Are you buying them? Do they have to order them from somewhere? We'll talk a little bit more about different outfit related things in a moment, but whatever you decide, they need to know and they need to know early on. They want to know if there are any time and money commitments Anything to do with your wedding, if you can lay it out clearly and early on, your bridesmaids will thank you for it because they'll be informed, they'll be able to make the necessary plans, and they'll feel a lot more at ease as well. Now, next thing, this is a pretty big one. Think about everybody's budget. Now, being a bridesmaid can be pretty expensive. If you think about all the different things you could buy, you know, there's accessories, there's shoes, there's the dress, um, there's hair and makeup. And now some of those things, as the bride, you might want to cover. Sometimes it's the bridesmaids who cover it. Then there's surprising you with a hen party. There's a wedding day gift. There's so many things that bridesmaids end up spending money on that if there are things that everybody has to get, it's really helpful if you as the bride can help consider everybody's budget you know, things like dresses, accessories, and so on. Think about the different ways you could cut costs and then find and plan things that only, um, that everybody can attend. So don't plan some big elaborate trip somewhere. If you know that some of your bridesmaids can't be there because of financial reasons, it's better to do something a bit more low key that everyone can be part of than to do something that's really elaborate and you're going to exclude people because they can't afford to be there. Next thing, respect their time. So now I know that your wedding is probably going to consume a lot of your time, um, but it's not the only thing that's going on in your bridesmaids' lives. They've got jobs, they've got maybe children, they've got partners, they've got family life. Some of them might have university work or schoolwork or something like that. Basically, they have a lot of stuff going on. So don't expect them to be available all the time. And this is a good one. When you're communicating with them, keep your communications short and sweet. 
because nobody wants a never-ending group text message every day. So when you do communicate, keep it short and sweet, get to the point quickly, and just be kind to your bridesmaids when you expect them to be somewhere. Just, just be realistic about it. Now, we said we were going to talk about dresses. Keep their sizes in mind. Now, you're probably going to find that your close group of friends all look different to each other. Different heights, different sizes. They may have different silhouettes of dresses that look good on on some of them and not good on others. That's life. That's what happens when you're a woman and you'll have different bodies. So now price isn't the only thing you want to consider, but you really want to help your bridesmaids to feel really comfortable because if they feel comfortable in their dress on your wedding day, they're going to look good. They're going to beam. They're going to be glowing as well. And in the photos, they're going to look really relaxed and that'll make them look even better. So I asked Patricia from Presley Blue if she had any tips on how you can help your bridesmaids to feel comfortable, to look good when you decide what they're going to wear. So let's have a listen to what she had to say. Hi Kelly, Patricia here from Presley Blue Boutique. We're bridesmaids dress specialist based in North County, Dublin. And one of the biggest questions is, any bride is, how am I going to look after the bridesmaids when choosing their dresses to wear? Because I'm trying to cater for everybody. I say to any bride is, the number one consideration for any bridesmaid dresses they want to be comfortable so that's very understandable as it's a long day so you want to pick something that's going to be comfortable stylish nice color age appropriate something I can have a few drinks in I can have my dinner not going to feel bloated and that any photograph that I'm in I'm going to look really well at our boutique we have um, a number of options and we cater for all sizes my number one product would be the multi-way dress I find that this is a dress that actually suits everybody it's one dress that can be worn 20 27 different ways. So if you want to cover your arms, you can wear it with a little sleeve. The one shoulder, the Grecian look is really pretty. You have the halter neck if you're kind of busty. And then you don't have to worry. The most important piece of underwear with the multi-way dress, I always say, is your bra. It's not your sucky in pants. Pants are like Bridget Jones pants built for comfort. That dress is built for comfort. And then I also have very second popular uh, choice is the Maya range. Again, this is a fantastic dress range. It's available from a UK 6 to a 28. Lots of different colours available and there's lots of different styles available in the same colour. So you could have like mini maids or teenage bridesmaids where you can put them in like a halter neck which is very age appropriate. You can have your older bridesmaid with a v-neck and a little cap sleeve or you can have the bardo. So At the end of the day, I say to the brides, you want your bridesmaids to look happy and smart in your photographs. If they're not wearing something comfortable, they are going to, you're going to see that in their face, irrespective of how good a friend they are or how good a sister they are. If we're not comfortable, we just cannot hide it. So comfort is the number one consideration. If you need any more information, just contact us here at Presley Blue Boutique. We're on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks a million, Kelly. Patricia said it, you want your bridesmaids to be comfortable because if they're not, you'll see it all over their faces. Next thing is just allow your bridesmaids to be unique. Now, each one of your bridesmaids will be beautiful in their own way. So if that's the case, why would you want them to all have the same hairstyle, the same shade of lipstick and the same pair of shoes? They all look different in different things. They all look beautiful in different things. So why don't you allow them to accentuate the thing that makes them uniquely beautiful as well? So in that, just be flexible, allow them to choose their own hair and makeup, let them pick their own shoes. And if you do want some kind of uniformity, you could always give them a color palette and say, hey, wear whatever shoes you want, as long as they're kind of in this color palette. And that will help them to to look like they match, but not be too matchy matchy. Next thing is share the responsibilities. So of course, at some point in your wedding planning journey, it's great to get your input from your bridesmaids. You'll get your friends and family helping with different things. And if that's what you're going to do, just be kind to your bridesmaids and make sure that you're spreading out the load evenly. So you're not overwhelming some bridesmaids with everything and then making other bridesmaids feel unimportant by not giving them anything to do. Just find ways that you can share the load and just be, just be considerate in how you do that. Next thing is keep them fed. Now on the day when you're getting ready together on the morning of your wedding, have food and drinks, have you know breakfast for them or lunch, whatever time of day it is that you're getting ready. Just make sure that before the day even begins that they are well nourished so that you don't have any fainting bridesmaids and they'll all be, they'll have energy to actually um, do really well on your wedding day. And 
Beyond that, if you're able to have something like water bottles or energy bars or fruit or something that's nearby during the day. So when you're having pictures taken, you know, you can sip on water, you can get your energy back as well. They'll thank you for it. Next thing is, as a bride, be chilled. If you are cool, calm and collected, if you treat them like adults, if you are reasonable and show respect throughout your wedding planning journey and on the day, everyone will be so thankful. So my advice is as far as possible, avoid drama and just have a fun time. Everybody will love you for it. And finally, something you can do to to just make your bridesmaids feel very special is to thank them. Now, there are lots of obvious things you can do. You know, you can verbally thank them on the day. You can thank them throughout the wedding planning journey when they do things to help you. You can send them messages. You can write them notes. Or to show your gratitude, you could give them a gift. I asked Carol from the Hannah Lee Studios if she had any ideas of some really cute gifts that you can give to bridesmaids to make them feel really special. And I think you're going to love her ideas. Why don't we take a listen? Hi, Kelly. Carol here in Hannah Lee Studios. Yes, bridesmaids gifts. We absolutely love doing them. We're so passionate about what we do. Um, Our robes, pajamas, slippers, cami sets are always very, very popular. We do them personalized and non-personalized. And not only are they a great gift, uh, something that can be worn again and again, but they're also a great photo opportunity on the morning of the wedding. And some of the most beautiful photographs we've got back from brides are of the matching robes on that morning. We also do the bridal party gift sets, mugs, great idea, champagne flutes, candles, drink bottles. Our notebooks, planners are coming back into stock uh, and boxes. We do a lovely range at the moment of personalised boxes and we're also working on an even lovelier range, uh, which we'll be launching details of in the next couple of weeks. So what I might suggest to brides is that start with your boxes. And this is something that can be added to just help spread the cost a little bit before your wedding. Get your boxes this month, maybe next month, order your robes. A month later, get some mugs. When you're out shopping, pop in a little bottle of Prosecco, some sweets or something like that. And before you know it, you've got a full box of beautiful gifts to hand over to your bridal party on the morning of the wedding and it helps spread the cost a little bit. We also do payment plans where a 20% deposit will uh, secure your order and any number of installments then until delivery is due. All our products are available on our website, but they're also personalised. Everything is made to order. So if you want something a little bit different, if you want to change the text, if you want, you know, we have an idea you want to run with, drop us a message. We are so happy to to work with with you all. And we've worked with some really lovely brides. Um, it, like I said, we're so passionate about this. This is what we do best. All products are on our website, hanaleestudios.ie. But like I said, pop us a message anytime. Awesome. Thank you, Carol. Um, Some amazing ideas there of just ways that you can spoil your bridesmaids with gifts and how it can be budget friendly for you. I think that was a great idea to do little bits at a time. And then by the time it gets to your day, you've got an amazing box of gifts to give to your bridesmaids. Now, next week, we're going to be talking about saving and splurging. So if you're thinking about, you know, where should you put your money? Where should you save money? What can you get away with doing on a budget? you want to make sure you listen next week. It's going to be really good. Lots of expert advice on things that you don't necessarily need and some things you really want to make sure you have. Thank you for listening today. The Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online podcast is produced by me, Kelly, and mixed, mastered, and edited by Glenn Hartman. A special shout out to this week's wedding planning experts, Patricia from Presley Blue Boutique and Carol from Hannah Lee Studios. For more wedding planning tips, advice, checklists, and more, visit weddingsonline.ie.